I'm Matt Kokinas, owner of Microfarm Organic Gardens, and today we're going to teach you how to make Microfarm Mix, which is our own fertilizer blend made using ingredients that are approved for organic gardening by the Organic Materials Review Institute. And the idea behind Microfarm Mix is that it is an organic fertilizer that feeds the soil, which will in turn feed the plant. Microfarm Mix is designed to create a healthy living soil environment. Uh, that'll create a healthy, thriving plant. So, Microfarm Mix has six ingredients, and the first ingredient is bone meal. Uh, bone meal is a, it's a byproduct of the meat industry, and it's high in phosphorus. And bone meal actually encourages the presence of healthy microorganisms and organisms in the soil. Bone meal, in other words, is food for worms, food for um, beneficial life in the soil and, and these organisms and microorganisms will turn the bone meal into a more usable form for plants. This 50 square feet of area makes 11 cups of bone meal or 5 pounds of bone meal. Um, next add 3 cups of blood meal. Blood meal is a fast release source of nitrogen for plants and as we know plants need uh, more nitrogen in, in the early vegetative stage of growth. Uh, as it grows from a seedling to a, a big plant. Um, so th three cups of blood meal. Next we add two cups of kelp meal. Kelp meal is a slow release source of potassium. It's a uh, very slow release organic source of potassium that's made from kelp. And, um, and next we add four cups of rock phosphate. Rock phosphate is a slow release source of trace minerals that plants need. Uh, after that we add Jamaican bat guano and there are various types of bat guanos and um, from different parts of the world. The Jamaican guano uh, is what we use because it's high in phosphorus and uh, it's a medium release source of phosphorus for plants. 13 cups of green sand. Microfarm Mix uses a lot of green sand because it's a great uh, really slow release source of tr trace minerals for plants. Um, it's actually a, a, a pro um, mine from coastal areas and it's a product that's high in glauconite. Um, and then finally we add one and a half cups of dolomite lime to raise the, the pH of the soil into the appropriate range of six to seven for the majority of plants.